People say that perfection is a double-edged sword, and I agree. But to what extent can we pursue perfection before it's considered taking it too far? When it compromises your mental health? Oh, then that won't that mean I'm just a bitch who was never destined to be perfect? Sure, if you think that way. Or how about in a hypothetical scenario where you actually make it to the top of whatever it is you're pursuing, you are unmatched in everything and anything you do, nobody will ever match up to you in your lifetime. What now? No, seriously, what now? Rot away? Enjoy a hedonistic lifestyle? Both? Star family? Just settle down, you know, you could just do that. Or, I mean, let me try to think. I mean, but I can't really, but like, why set yourself up to have nothing else to do? Why chase perfection, reach it, and then just end up becoming a shell of your former self, if that makes sense? Am I just projecting? I like to think not. It's a necessary question that ambitious people should really ask themselves. Why do we seek perfection? There are undoubtedly a variety of reasons for this. One particular reason that most of us probably don't want to admit due to supposedly being better than this is that we want to be viewed as the best which is typically correlated with money, success, fame, better mating choices, etc, etc. I guess you could say it's a materialistic form of perfection based off that list, which I don't think there is necessarily anything wrong with, to be honest. But you know, it is what it is. There's another group of people who I believe seek perfection without realizing it and are just pursuing it, whatever it is they are doing for the fun of it. To be honest, I wouldn't even call that seeking perfection. I define that as knowing no limits. Going back to that first reason, people can go to extreme lengths to create a beautiful painting of themselves as perfect when in reality, they aren't and never will be. To be honest, I personally believe that a lot of the beauty that we wish to paint ourselves in comes from struggle through life. Take that as you will, I came to this conclusion upon looking back upon my relatively short life in which I've had to endure struggle and most likely will continue to do so for the remainder of my life. That forced me to mature at a very young age, as I imagine is the case for a lot of you viewing this video, so I like to think that I'm not talking on my ass. It's very possible that my opinion on this may change, but regardless, I intend to dedicate a full video to this topic so stay tuned and just think about it for now as potential food for thought while you think about it think about why do you think there's such a massive grind such hustle culture they're in love with putting in the work which can be seen as a form of suffering if you want to put it that way because some people just don't want to do the work but they have to because they want to get to somewhere you know you know that's cool and all but you just have to remember that there's an end goal to be reached so try not to get trapped in a never-ending cycle of just hustling 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 and never actually achieving any results because that's just kind of pointless but back to my main point this perfect painting that we try to paint of ourselves just ends up becoming something dark and twisted underneath the canvas through things such as trauma or mental health issues and other personal issues, you know? This actually leads me on to my next point in regards to a particular quote, which is commonly said nowadays that might be doing more damage than good in my opinion, depending on how the person interprets it. And this is the saying, you're perfect the way you are. People usually say, oh, you're perfect the way you are. But what, is this, what should this actually mean? If we're talking in terms of what makes us unique or distinct as individuals, which are our appearances, you know, skin color, hair color, hair type, you know, type 4C gang, 
size of our nose, ears, our teeth formation, culture, our interests, which may be seen as unusual or interesting to others. You know, positive personality traits such as kindness and optimism and empathy, then yes, I definitely agree with this statement. In reality though, whenever this is said, they usually think that every single thing about them is absolutely perfect and that they don't need to change. Now, I have a problem with this because if the person is actually a shitty person and you're just there gassing them up, telling them that they're perfect and all that, the hell are you doing? You're meant to be holding them accountable, not feeding their ego with shit. You're not helping them in the long run. You're contributing to them holding themselves back. But I digress. I mean, this is literally the main reason I made this in the first place, just to mainly address this point because it just kind of irritated me. So yeah, I'm just literally nitpicking. But you know what? I'll give you another reason to think about. No one can be perfect. Not even me. Shocker. Not even fictional characters are perfect. Otherwise, we just get bored of the story really quickly. There needs to be some sort of struggle. Ha, notice, notice I'm saying struggle again. In order for us to be, you know, tuned in and actually, you know, keep watching or keep reading or whatever how we decide to consume it. Furthermore, we just all have flaws. There's always something to be improved on. You know, this actually reminds me of an uh, anime I watched a couple of years back called Katana Gatari, where the sister of the main character had the ability to basically imitate any ability she saw once and she saw it a second time she would just basically literally just master it so she's just basically this overpowered martial artist who could just body anyone but even she had a flaw because she had a very frail body so there was nothing that she could really do about that but like i said i digress i'm sure you can think of many more examples as well and if you can't then go search for it. It's not like you have anything better to do if you're watching this, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, let's talk a little bit about confronting the self. This rant is also partially inspired by my own experiences over the past decade or so. I was so tunnel visioned in becoming successful to provide for my family, and I still am to be honest, that I chase perfection you know, which isn't all bad, like I mentioned earlier, but where it became really bad was when I started to also view myself as some sort of, you know, perfect human being, or demigod, and this wasn't really helped by my peers in secondary school in sixth form, who tended to compliment me a lot on my academic ability and personality, this made me real fucking big-headed, I won't lie to you, and so whenever I received criticism, or I feel I didn't do anything right, or I feel I didn't do something right, or even had someone disagree with me, you know, even for a valid reason, I was heated. I'd lash out, swear up and down, get violent, and just be downright depressed for days on end. It was mad. It also led to me developing a very big ego when it came to asking for help. Whether it was to do with academic work or personal issues, I was too damn proud to ask for help. Because I believed myself to be perfect enough to body any problems that came my way, you know, but I'm a big man, you know. <laughs> and it was unbecoming. I would I also saw it as very unbecoming of the man whose ability was praised by his peers to ask for help for things as simple as clarification on a school problem. What can I say? At the end of this, don't be too prideful to ask for help or you end up paying for it in the long run. To conclude, just try to become the best version of yourself, not the perfect version of yourself, as you will always have flaws, as everyone else will. Whoa, I just sounded like a motivational speaker there. I should better get my, my course ready, you know. You know, first 100 to sign up, you know, get a, get a 20% discount type shit. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for listening to this little round of mine. Still not used to articulating my thoughts amazingly as I literally just spewed out words into a Word document and based my video off that. So you have to be patient with me on that in that regards. 
But anyways, share your experiences down below with perfectionism. I'm curious to read you guys' experiences. And I also wish to hear some feedback so I can get better at this kind of thing. So I do, I do, I do find myself enjoying just talking at a camera about, you know, shit that's interesting to me, which are topics like this which I think are a lot more meaningful and, you know, insightful than just talking about the latest trend. But don't get me wrong, I'm not some of those, like, I'm not one of those other, you know, unique, like, people. I'm just a, I'm just a regular guy with a, with a Dirac on, you know, poorly, poorly tied, by the way, that's just trying to just talk and just learn different experiences. Because, you know, the more experiences you learn on your path, you know, the better. Makes you a more interesting person allows you to help people just by talking about your experience you know so yeah i'm just genuinely curious to, to learn more about people just believe it or not even though i'm actually i really don't like being on camera like it took me a while to even do this whole thing like my first three videos were me were without a camera and those did um <laughs> you know some some just terrible not terrible but just not as well as I thought. I mean, to be fair, this this type of the type of videos I make are very um, I will put niche, unique. I don't say unique because I'm definitely not that unique, to be honest. But just unusual. That might be the better word. Unusual. So they're not bound to get a certain a lot of views. But I do know that those who watch would hopefully find some value in it and we'll continue to stay, stay tuned in because I have like 25 video ideas but it's quite a crap ton of editing and, and shit to do and watching a lot of movies and animes to to make the videos in so well that's just all in the future in it but yeah until next time thank you